We're at True Turn Precision in Stroud. Now, I want to clarify, first of all, this isn't a cooking show. We've got all the ingredients laid out. We'll come to that in a minute. But first of all, True Turn, what do you actually do? Uh, we're a subcontract engineering shop. Uh, we do turning, milling, welding, uh, general fabrication, uh, general assembly, electronic assembly. Yeah. Uh, they try to cover as much as they can, really. So pretty much engineering, all aspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, also I understand you're a great example of British manufacturing because you're exporting to a number of different countries. Yeah, they go to the, the, the Far East, uh, into Europe, uh, yeah. North America, um, as well as a lot of local companies that are all based around here as well. Okay, great example of actually things going to the Far East rather than coming from the Far East. Now, you're also massive fans of Citizen. How many machines have you got? Uh, we've got seven. Seven, okay. Now, just very briefly, why do you like them so much? Uh, basically, it's the reliability and the speed you get with them, the aftercare service that they give, um, and uh, the fact that they're very user-friendly, yeah. uh, especially when we've got new, young starters. It's very easy to get them involved, get them trained, <laughs> uh, and things like that. So, yeah. Making yourself sound old there, Ryan. Yeah, I am. I'm getting on a bit. <laughs> now, your latest acquisition, though, what is it? Uh, it's an L20 LFV. Oh. So, what I would do, normally I go talk a lot about the machine, but you've got some fantastic, as I said, we're, it's not a cookie show, we've got your components here, and this is just a selection of them. What I'd like you to do is talk me through them, because there's some great examples here. So yeah, if you could just go through them, please. Yeah, uh, well, the first part that we have here, the little plastic part, traditionally plastic's quite difficult right. to machine with swarf. To this is a seat, a seat tool, just to it's, clarify. Yeah, yeah, black a seat or, um, It's got uh, front facing milling, uh, side milling, turning, grooving, drilling, um, it's, Made a bit massive difference putting it on the air to obviously the, the, the swarf, you don't get the stringiness. Um, right. Effectively now, if you really wanted to, you could run it dry. Um, we use coolant, it helps us run larger batches between intervals um, and uh, also keeps a finish on the on the ODs. There's no trap in the swarf, there's no melt in the swarf. Um, so yeah, made a big difference, yeah. So that's it, I mean, you, you don't have big batch runs for this but you could have wanted to pretty much run it 24 7 yeah yeah yeah. I mean the bar is big enough the bar feeders yeah. uh, delicate enough to load it in um, so yeah if you wanted to you, you, you could quite easily run lights out machining on this part what, what about the next one because that looks like a nice tricky component yeah that's uh, sort of like we're talking uh, 9 to 10 microns on a lot of that on the tolerances uh, 316 stainless steel um, got turning grooving threading milling on that um, We've made this part for quite a few years. Um, basically, we had issues with swarf damage and stuff like that, which was giving us a headache as well as uh, making sure our customer didn't get hold of, of them parts. Um, yeah. Now we've got the LFV, especially with the grooving, it makes a big difference. The removal of swarf, we don't get the swarf damage. Right. We, we get the parts off slightly quicker. We can keep the tolerances yeah. um, and we can generally get more output than we ever used to on, on the... Uh, so improving efficiency, but also in terms of inspection, it's a lot, lot easier. Yeah, yeah, it takes a lot of pressure off of them guys going through all of them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's made a massive difference. Okay. Now, what about this one? Because we will get close-ups of these, but this this part, what do you do with this part? Uh, this part is made from Hastelloy, so yeah, it's quite a tough material. Um, it, it's turned, it's threaded. Um, we also put a two mil hexagon brooch in the end of it. Um, the Not a problem for the machine itself in terms of the, the, the broaching? No, 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 the machine's powerful enough to do it. Um, it's it's very consistent. We don't right. get any sort of pushback on the, on the, the collets. We don't get any real problems with it. We also keep the finish all the way up the length of it. Um, and we get a good finish on the head, and again, we get the swarf removal as well, so. Now, next next part, that does, I mean, it looks relatively straightforward, but it's not actually as simple as it, as it looks. No, it's, again, it's sort of like eight or nine micron tolerances with a good finish. It's a, a medium sort of strength mild steel. Um, it goes into high-end automotive industry. Um, it's used within precision grain components as, um, as sort of a, a pushing spacer. Um, so we managed to make these here without having to grind them, without sending them away. So it saves us time and yeah. money, and it saves us uh, a lot of hassle, really. And it yeah. means our customer can get the parts quicker because we don't have to send it away for grinding. So essentially, really tight tolerances on this machine. Yeah, really tight tolerances. And this machine's more than capable of holding it. Even with a, a very thin wall on it, we don't get any distortion or anything from the back spindle. So. 
Yeah, now, good. Next one is an example because you're not using LFB or the whole length of this component. Is that right? No, we don't. We don't use it at the front because we have quite a, a high surface finish on the head. So we keep, we keep the machine stable for when machining the, the head. Once that's finished, we then go in with the LFV for the second part of the turning, right. the grooving, and uh, again, it removes swarf. It helps us with a traditional problem that we had with swarf binding on the shaft. Right. Um, we have tried brushes, etc. in the past to get it off. Again, it's reduced uh, the scrap rate, and we also managed to make the parts quicker on here and um, so I think all in all keeps everyone happy. And surface finish is much is much better improved did you say? Uh, yeah when it, nice and sturdy so when when you use it on the back head in particular which we use for that uh, the surface finish is is, is very Brilliant. consistent. So again a massive reduction in your scrap amount of scrap. That's it yeah and an improved uh, time as well so better efficiency. Now one, I mean, again, we've got loads of parts here, but this one, it's not so much about the, I mean, it, titanium, is that right? Yeah. And it's not so much about the LFB. What else have you got on the machine? Uh, it's more like there's a adaptive guide bush or a JBS guide bush. Um, titanium, we traditionally struggled with it binding when you pull the parts back, which meant having to put a feed rate into the machines rather than a rapid movement. With the adaptive guide bush, it's controlled by air and you can open and close it with a simple M code during the process. Um, and it means that the parts will run quicker because you can keep the rapid movements in it. Um, and the bar is a lot more stable uh, whilst it's doing it. Um, we can, we do have JBS on other machines, which we use a lot of the time, but with the LFV it helps with the finish, because traditionally titanium is, is quite a difficult oh, one. Material to get a good finish on. So, Ryan, I mean that's a great example. I just given us a sort of insight into Citizen machines, how much you like them, but how you're actually using the Citizen, the LFV, and adaptive guy bush. Yeah, that's it. Excellent, and a great example of manufacturing UK because it's going around the UK, but all around the world pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. So they they're, they're quite heavy into exporting. Uh, they're proud that they can still do it, and I think the quality of the parts that we make proves that we can still export into countries it can get them a lot cheaper effectively if they need it. That's, it. That's a great endorsement of the machine and what you're doing as well so thank you very much. No problem thank you.